Webheads, these are the comic books that are getting ready to come out very soon at a local comic shop near you. In fact, these books are getting ready to come out three to five weeks from now. Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. That's right, fans. These comic books are getting ready to come out within the next three to five weeks. So after you get done seeing this list, make sure you get in contact with your shop and make sure you don't miss out on those hottest variants, those newest stories, because by the time New Comic Book Day comes around, you not, might not be able to get them. Guys, before we get started, I just want to thank Comic Central for providing me this list each and every week. These are some of the most highly anticipated comic books and comic variants that are getting ready to come out. And the first one we're going to be talking about is Hulk vs. Thor, Banner of War, Alpha one so this is donny cates's big deal right here guys um he's taking his two marvel properties that he's currently writing he's crossing them over and basically it's going to be a hulk versus thor battle who is on board with this one i definitely am this is going to be a monumental thing here uh you got this main cover you got your variant covers i mean there's going to be all kinds of crazy stuff when it comes to this book this looks like some kind of foil cover because you can see like the rainbow or something like that in the background i don't know these are some neat ones man but i'm definitely looking forward to the story in general and then we have Thor issue 24. So after a scorched earth victory against the God of Hammers, Thor and all of Asgard reel from a brutal loss, but some people are never truly gone. And as Thor and his allies come together, so will fan favorite creators from throughout Thor's history. In addition to the main story by Cates and Klein, join some of Thor's more, most acclaimed writers and artists. So we have all these people out here, I guess, celebrating the wonderful milestone issue when it comes to Thor. And here you have your variant covers for this one. So it looks pretty cool, like that one. This is a gorgeous cover right here. Wow. And then we got this uh, Spider Thor. That's pretty neat. And you got this one here. This one here with um, Thor and Better Ray. All right, so now we're going to move on to New Mutants issue 25. Anybody who's still reading New Mutants out there, let me know in the comments below. Pretty cool looking cover. The Labors of Magic starts here. The Big 2-5 is here. And it's the perfect jumping on point for fans new and old. Ileana Rasputin is the Sorcerer Supreme and the rightful Queen of Limbo. But she's been awfully busy on Krakoa. Someone's got their eye on the throne and magic isn't the only queen in mutantdom. Vita Alau, Alau, whatever her name is, rekindle an old flame for a whole new generation of magic lovers. I can never say Vita's last name for some reason. It just doesn't roll off the tongue. I won't be reading this book, but I'll be buying it for this cover right here and that cover alone. This is a pretty cool looking cover as well. Next, we move on to Giant Size X-Men Thunderbird. So we have Thunderbird making his appearance right here. So that might be one to check out if you're a fan of the character. Pretty nice looking cover. And then we have a cool variant cover as well. Now we have Strange Academy issue 18, a very good series in my opinion by Scotty Young and Herberto Ramos. I think this might be the last issue before the break, but I've been saying that for the past three issues now. Platitudes get thrown around in around a lot in these pages but if you've been reading strange academy you know we don't mess around so listen up after this issue things will never be the same at strange academy seriously you don't want to miss this issue that is going to destroy you emotionally and destroy the school beyond recognition i love the character growth in this series in the series as a whole this has evolved already into something so spectacular the sky's the limit when it comes to this book and when it does go on its break i can't wait to see how things have changed among these students here is this uh variants cover next we have immortal x-men issue two i 
am not a fan. I read the first issue of this and I will not be reading the second. I'm just not into a book where we just have a lot of standing around and talking about things that are going on in Krakoa and if we should vote on it, right? Uh, it's just like a political book in 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 the X-Men and I just don't think it's needed. I don't need to waste my money on it. And yes, we see Magneto leave the council and they had to vote a new council member in, but that's just not interesting to me. I could care less. But once again, a variant cover is going to grab me and it's for this Emma Frost spider cover. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm all over, all over it for that. All right, next book that I will definitely be getting is this Venom Lethal Protector issue two, Venom versus Hydro Man for the first time, Nuff said. That's gonna make a good story. I thought this first issue was absolutely phenomenal. David Michelini is behind it. Venom versus, versus um, Humbug in the last issue and then some F-rated villains on top of that. So good, man. If you love old school Venom, you're gonna love this book. Next, we have Ghost Rider issue three. Um, you guys out there recommended me to read Ghost Rider. I read the first issue, loved it. Second issue, I'm like, ah oh, man, it's not gonna be the same as the first because I loved how he didn't know who he was and the Ghost Rider was starting to come out. But they kinda still stuck to that formula in the second issue. And right now I feel like I'm reading a, like a, uh, a horror story, uh, like a Tales from the Crypt or something like that, where it's just like, even though it's a series that's gonna be ongoing, it still feels very one-shot type of story. Uh, but it, the last issue, second issue, was really well done, so I'll be checking out issue three. Here's a couple of your variants. This is a nice looking variant right here as well. Then we have the secret history of the war on weed one shot. This is now in our indie gems. Don't know what to expect from this. Don't know how far I'll be checking this one out, but if there is one I'll be checking out for sure, it's We Have Demons Issue 2 by Scott Snyder and Greg Capolo. This first issue surprised me. I did not think it was going to be as good. It's basically a light versus dark type of story. We have the legacy being passed down from father to daughter. The father was murdered and now the young girl is finding out that she has powers or she's going to develop powers that she never knew that she had to face these demons so good i really love the character work in this book and of course you can't go wrong with greg capullo's artwork phenomenal read here guys check out your variant cover gorgeous cover right here as well and then you have a third cover here too all right, next we have Magic Hidden Planeswalker, issue one. Uh, pretty sure this is done by Jed McKay. I uh, could be wrong though. I am not a fan of Magic, never been a fan of Magic cards. I won't be picking this one up, but for you fans out there that are Magic fans, this is for you. Next we have John Carter from Mars, issue one. This is taking place in the year 1919, an asteroid of pure ninth hurdles towards Earth. Its teeming power slowly melds the people of Earth to Mars and Mars to Earth. John Carter is ripped from everything he knows, powerless and confused suddenly in battle with Martian apes in Virginia. Strap in for a full octane adventure every month in John Carter of Mars. All right, so if you're a John Carter fan, this is for you. That's a pretty interesting cover right there. Okay. And now we move on to DC. So we have a DC, Batman, Superman, World's Finest. This is issue two. Love the first issue of this. This was so well done as we get Superman being injected with red kryptonite from uh, Metallo. And he goes to Batman for help. And Batman takes him to the Doom Patrol's headquarters. And somehow they gotta extract that red kryptonite from him. Love the artwork. Love the pacing of this. Um... I didn't like the flashbacks in the first issue, but I'm highly anticipating the second issue. Somehow it felt like old school DC for me and that's what I loved about it. Here is your variant cover. Next, we have Batman Beyond the White Knight issue two. 
This first issue was so good, really enjoyed it. I was highly anticipating this series to come back and now we have a series where Batman Beyond, Terry McGinnis is in this book and it looks like he is, um, his boss is Derek Powers and he's wearing the Batman Beyond suit. We get to see Bruce get out of jail and he's gonna be teaming up, well, maybe teaming up with J Jason Todd. Really great book awesome read definitely suggest that you check this out here we have a cover here with terry mcginnis on it can't wait for that all right next we have earth prime issue 2 cw superman and lois so i don't read or I, excuse me i don't watch the cw show i did hear good things about it so if you're a fan of that and you're looking maybe for some comics that are related to that show check this one out this is issue two of six here we got kind of like a movie poster type of thing that's pretty cool all right here's a book i'm not reading but you might want to check it out because it has wonder girl on the cover and it's a connecting cover this is trial of the amazons wonder girl issue two this is basically just like a detective but with the Amazons. I'm not into it, not digging it. I do love the artwork inside uh, by Joelle Jones, and it's just so well done, man. And this, again, is a connecting cover. So you put issue, issue one and two together, they'll make one cool looking image here. This is a gorgeous looking variant cover. So I'll probably be picking both of these up Again, just for cover buys in itself. Next, we have Catwoman, issue 41. Same thing, don't read this book. I was told to jump on it when uh, I think Rom V was writing it. And right when I jumped on it, it ended. <laughs> so now we have a new writer on it. So I still collect it mainly for cover buys. And how can you not buy this Jenny Frizen variant? That is absolutely gorgeous. So there you have it, Webheads. Definitely some great books getting ready to come out. Some awesome covers. And now it's your turn. The ball is in your court. Make sure you get in touch with your local comic book shop. Make sure you put those books on hold so you don't miss out. And of course, guys, if you like my content, I'll leave you more content right here and check out. In fact, it's my After the Pool series where I talk about my most highly anticipated comics and if they lived up to the hype. And of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, keep reading your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Bye.